Okay, for our next project, we are going to do some digging. Um, I want to go out and smooth out some rough sections of trail, and to do that, I'm going to need a shovel. Unfortunately, on a previous project, my shovel broke. Um, it's kind of old. I bought it used, so I guess it's not too shocking. Uh, at least now, if I get attacked by vampires, I am ready. So, before we can do any digging, uh, we're going to have to replace the handle on this. Um, in order to do that, uh, we need to remove the rivet, and so I've got my angle grinder, um, and we'll, we'll take the uh, head off that rivet and pull it out, and then pound out the stub of the old handle, and then we will put a new handle on. So, here we go. Okay, and there we are. That's the old rivet. That is the old piece that was inserted into the shovel. Uh, you can see it was kind of in rough shape, so not shocking that it broke. And then our nice, clean shovel head that is ready to take a new handle. So, the new handle is over here. Um, you can see it came with a rivet. I think I'm actually going to use just a couple of screws in either side, um, for one thing, because then if I ever have to replace this handle, I uh, won't need an angle grinder to do it. Um, and also because if I put screws in it, I can always drill the holes out bigger and put a rivet in later if I change my mind. So, um, starting with the option that is reversible. Uh, so, when installing the new handle, uh, you want to make sure that you have these kind of oval grains here. Uh, take this out in the light so you can hopefully see better. Um, you see how the the grain, and it's glaring, um, but hopefully you can kind of see how the, the grain is a little bit oval here, um, whereas on this, this edge it's all nice and straight. Um, you want to make sure that you have the oval grain on the side of the handle, so basically I think they put the, uh, the logo on the side that you want to have facing up on the shovel, or down I suppose, depends on what you want to do. So. Um, Gonna go ahead and get that installed and then we can get word get started on digging. Alrighty, and we are done. Um, it's not a perfect fit. You can see there's a bit of a gap down there behind it. Um, I could probably close that up. There's there's still a little bit of space in between there. Um, so, we'll see how it holds up, but uh, in the meantime, it should be usable. So, let's go use it. Alright, so this is where we're going to be working. Um, the reason we're working here is, if you can kind of see those, all of those little dirt spots in the trail here, um, those are all high spots, and the, the little grassy bits in between them are basically all little ditches that, that run uh, kind of across the trail. And that's not all that much fun to ride, because it's just, you know, it's kind of Bum, bum, bum. Um, so, I'm going to try to uh, cut a line through there that's a little bit smoother. Um, maybe build a little bit of a berm back here on this corner. Uh, it wouldn't hurt, you know, kind of fun. Um, so we'll see. See what, have, uh, see what I have time for. And yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, well that should be a nice improvement. Um, I'm gonna try to bring you down here so you can see. Uh, basically what I did is I just knocked the tops off of some of the high spots and uh, put that dirt in the low spots. And so now I should have a pretty nice line just kind of running right, right through there that's fairly level. So um, I think I'm gonna hold off on doing any berming down at the corner for right now because uh, I don't know for sure what this is gonna do to the line that I take through that corner. Um, I used to I used to kind of cut that corner a little bit short over there, uh, trying to avoid the worst of these bumps. So um, now that the bumps aren't there, I might not have to do that anymore, and it might uh, change how I want to how I want to design that corner. So 
Um, I think we're going to call it for this project. Um, got a lot done, fixed the shovel, um, worked pretty well. There's there's a little bit of side to side play uh, when I was when I was digging. Um, there again, that might be fixed if I can just kind of squeeze down the the collar on it there a little bit more. But uh, it's working again, which it wasn't before, and we've got uh, a little bit smoother trail now. So good result. Um, that's going to do it for today, and thanks for watching.